How do you ensure maximum return on investments at your livestock farm? How do you make sure that your animals are gaining weight the right way at every life stage of their lifespan to give you your return on investments? If you have questions regarding these and many more, then today this video is for you. It's all about feed and how to formulate the right feed for your animals. We will teach you what to give to them at every life stage of their lifespan. And also, if you've ever wanted to make your own livestock pellet feed as a livestock farmer, look no further. Hmm, you've hit a gold mine today. I need you to share this video with other like-minded people like yourself so that they also learn and then we do this together. We love the world of agriculture, especially the livestock agribusiness part. So join us, let's do this journey together and better the industry. By the way, this is Farming in Africa. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, TikTok and LinkedIn, sharing free knowledgeable tips to help better the sector. Let's do this together. Hello everyone, you're welcome to Sementia Farms and my name is Godfrey. In today's topic is going to be on nutrition and how to actually even formulate your own feed at your farm. So when we come to Sementia Farms, we feed our animals with three main feeds. We have the grass that we allow them to go outside to graze on. We give them the hay, which is the dry feed. And then we also give them the supplement feed, which we get from the pellet feed. So today our focus is going to be on how to formulate your own pellet feed. And with that, you need some ingredients. With those ingredients we have, those ingredients have macro and then your micronutrients. So we first take the macronutrients, where you get them from, and um, which of them you will need to make feed for your animals. So here at the farm, we have animals in different stages. We have the kids, we have lactating, we have the males, and then we have the active animals. And we all know with kids, they need certain nutrients so that they will grow faster. So in this, we will let you know what they need so that you mix that with their feed so that you will get the feed for them. Um, so we first take the macronutrients. So with macronutrients, we have the protein. With protein, um, you can get protein from soya bean meal. You can get uh, protein also from um, granite cake. You can get protein from other grasses as well, like alfalfa and then the semisha grass. So if you are mixing your feed, you look at which of the ingredients that are available to you, then you use that to mix it. Also, it needs to be um, cost efficient because you don't have, you not need to spend much money because your profit is actually in the production of your animal. So you need um, feed that is less costly so that you mix it with the um, for them. So with protein, you get protein from soya bean meal. We have um, granite cake. We also have grasses like alfalfa, and then we have the seven shark grass, which is the SF01. So these are your protein sources, where you can get protein from to mix um, for your, your animals. And then we take um, with uh, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates um, actually is energy, so also based on what you want to achieve. So it's your animals, like the males that you don't need much protein, you need energy for them, and you get energy from your wheat bran, you get from your rice bran, we have the maize as well, cassava peels, um, all that, you get carbohydrate also from that side. And then we have the vitamins and minerals. So with the vitamins and minerals, um, you get some from the soil, but if your soil is lacking certain um, nutrients, then it means you, you get you have to get a micro pack, which the minerals in that micro pack contains all the micronutrients that your body, um, your animals need. So with that, we you can also mix premix with all this so that you make your um, pellet feed. So these are the ingredients that you need to mix so that you're able to prepare your um, livestock feed or your pellet feed for the animals. Right, so to make your feed, once you've gotten your soya bean or you get your granite cake, alfalfa, 
the essential grass that you have available you get your rice bran as well you put all together and then you make so that your pellet machine can produce your pellet seed for you so let's take the protein or the soya bean so let's say maybe you have soya bean available at your end once you take your soya bean then if you are mixing it for kids you can do all the way up to about 25 percent for your animals because you want them to grow very fast if you are mixing it also for the lactating mothers because they also need more protein to produce a lot of milk for you you can add you can choose to not use the soya bean but rather use alfalfa because it also contains about 22 percent um, of protein so you can use that as well um, then you get your wheat bran which also gives energy you can do um, up to about um, 40 percent um, also you you need maize definitely to mix for them you can also do that up, up to about 40 percent um, and then you take your premix which contains all the micro uh, nutrients that the goods will need you can do about 0.5 um, to 2.5 percent so once you've gotten all your ingredients and you have this uh, then you can mix that so what you do is you get all your um, ingredients together you pour them on the ground you can use shovel to mix them you need to mix them that it can mix very well you mix all all together then you have your pellet machine available right so once you have your pellet machine you just put them inside the pellet machine and then the pellet machine will produce the pellet feed for you so based on the stage of your animal or the condition of your animal then that will give inform you based of the um, ingredients you need to give them more of um, with these ingredients so let's take kids so with kids we all know they need more protein so kids you can do between 20 to 20 uh, 25 percent of protein for them uh, which is your soya bean or any of the protein sources that you have so with soya you can do up to 25 percent for them because they need it more uh, they need more protein than energy because they need to grow faster. Um, we also take like wheat bran. You can do um, about 30 to 40 percent of that for the kids as well. And then maize, you can do about 30 percent for it. And then the premix, you do about 0.5. So that's the kids. And then we look at lactating mothers. We all know lactating mothers. They are producing milk. They also need more protein. So you can also do more protein for them. And then you do your wheat bran for energy, maize also for energy for them, and then you do your premise. With males, we all know males do not need more of protein because they've grown to their stage that they, they need to cross. So once they are crossing, they need more of energy. So you do more of the wheat bran or maize because that's what they need so that they'll be able to cross your animals for you. And then with the active animals, active animals maybe they they've given bed that you want them to get their body conditioned very well with that you need more of the um energy which is the wheat bran and then the maize you can do that for them as well um and then with i think that's for the, the stages that they are in that will inform you on which one to increase or decrease for them so that they can um, go faster for you hi god hello nadia i feel like you've taken us to school today um, that was a very comprehensive submission and thank you so much because it's a question we get a lot. So for me, my takeaway is you look at the life stage of your animal and you know which of the nutrients or ingredients to increase more or to decrease, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you so, so much. Does it apply to all livestock? So this is specifically for goods ah, and okay. sheep, right? Okay. Because that's what we do here at the farm. Okay, so okay, okay. Goods and sheep, you can... Um, use these formulas, yeah. these ingredients, and then you adjust them based on the stages that they are in, so that you can fit your purpose on the farm. That's great. And the premix you mentioned, is it something that's easy to get? Premix is not easy to get. Yeah. Um, yeah, because these the premix contains the micro yes. nutrients that they need, and we all know that the micro minerals is not easy to get. So yeah, yeah. but um, I thank you they contact us yeah. or something we can assist them on how to get that that's great ladies and gentlemen as always we love what we do and we love to carry you along if there is any question on your mind regarding this brilliant brilliant lecture from farm manager godfrey please don't forget to put it under the comment section 
because hey we are doing this together and we want you to also love this industry and get all the return on your investment from it if any of the carbohydrate sources protein sources he mentioned you are struggling to find it at your place i don't think you would struggle soya bean ground garnet alfalfa reach out we actually have a service that uh, caters to feed formulation for livestock pigs sheep goats cattle reach out to the team and we'll be happy to help you as always coming all the way from where today <laughs> thank you so much see you in another video bye bye <laughs>